Hey guys, my name is Monty, founder of CameraHobbies.com and today we're going to do an out-of-box review for the Team Associated RC-10B 4.1 brushless 1 tenth scale buggy. Now I originally ordered one of these, today is July 2nd, I ordered one of these on June 20th from MyAtomic.com June 28th, I asked them if they could kindly send me a UPS tracking number, to which they replied on the 29th, we're sorry your order is still in processing. Would you like a refund? So I wrote them back and said yes, I would like a refund. I did that on the 30th and the 1st, and I've heard nothing back from them. So I do not recommend that anybody purchase from MyAtomic.com. It's been a terrible experience. Okay, they have this stuff wired in here? Yes, they do. So, oh, they have this strapped in there real good. I'm going to go ahead and pause the tape for a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. You will need a pair of wire cutters to get this thing out. The factory, they, they glue this insert in the box. It's very difficult to get out. And let's see, what do we have? We have user manual and some other stuff, a tool, and other stuff. Okay, let me change the, uh, so you can see they have these in here using these uh, zip ties. That's what these are gonna be for. Okay, and let me change the camera angle so you can get a, a better view of this thing. Okay, we're back, so we've removed the clips. This is the transmitter. It has an interesting feel to it. And let's see if we can get the color up. Uh, yes. And there she is. Oh, I like that suspension. That's cool. Guys at the shop said at the clay pit, which is where I bought this, and, and also, if guys, if you guys are in Austin, Texas, or Leander, Go to Speedster Hobbies. Uh, they had this on sale at the shop for $224 plus tax. So let's get these clips out of here. There appear to be four of them. Okay, there goes the wing. Hope I can remember how to put that back on. And the hood. So this would be pretty simple inside. All I have to do now is figure out where to put the battery. <laughs> oh, it goes under here, apparently. Maybe I should read the instructions before doing this. Uh, let's see, what else was I going to say? Oh yes, this is a ready-to-run kit. However, it does not come with a battery charger and car main battery. Now, Tower Hobbies recommended that I get this 7.2 volt nickel metal hydride, but if you're going to race and be competitive, you want to get the 7.4 volt uh, lithium polymer batteries, and certainly more than 2,000 milliamp hours. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a second here. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done a couple of things to speed things up. Um, this is the battery. It goes, I think it goes here like that. We'll plug that in. Put the holder on there. I can figure out how to do that properly. Maybe the wire goes outside. Okay, that goes over these clips. Oops. Which are pretty tight and kind of hard to turn. But you want the battery in there snug. And it will be snug. Oops, those apparently only go one way. There we go. Okay, so there's that. And these eight AA batteries, they go in there like that. There's a plug here, so if you're using rechargeables, I think that's how that works. There's also a charging jack here, I think. Uh, the instructions are available online for download at rc10.com. I'll figure that out. 
Oh, here we go. It wants to slide in there. Or it doesn't want to slide in there. Okay. Work with me here. <laughs> okay. Sweet Jesus. All right. There we go. Okay. There's that. Now we need to bind, manually bind the transmitter to the car. And I'm going to pause while I read these instructions. Okay, I think I understand how to do the binding process now. Batteries in, everything is turned off. Now, on the transmitter, hold the binding button while powering on. Comes on and it kind of flashes quickly like so. I think I fucked that up again. Okay, start up. So, to bind the transmitter to the car, this is how I think it's supposed to work, hold the binding button while powering on the transmitter. Do not release until it flashes. Okay, I don't know if they call that flashing or not. Press the binding button on the receiver. Make sure you're pressing it. while powering on the car. Ah! It's making noises. I believe we are bound. Yes, we are. Well, that needs to be tuned a little bit. All right, we are bound, ladies and gentlemen. Have a Coors Light to celebrate that step. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to um, adjust the trim. When it came to me, uh, this is the steering trim. It was kind of cranked over about like that. Just adjust it until it appears straight. And then you should have even travel left and right. Okay, looks good. Let's put this bad boy back together. Let's see, always turn the car off first, then you can power off your transmitter. And let's see if I can put this thing back together. And we'll go to the parking lot see how it runs. Oops. There we go. Handy little clips. Okay. Rear one for the body. What the hell is this? That doesn't look right somehow. I'm missing something. Okay, what is this? Oh, I see how that works. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Of course it would help if I could see. There it is. Okay. That one just goes on. Well, maybe I don't know how that goes on there. Apparently I do not. It looks like it just goes around. The wrong clip? No? We'll do so. That doesn't look right. Okay, that doesn't look right. I'll figure that out in a minute. Good grief. And one there. And one there. When I resolve this mystery, I'll let you know. Okay, so I resolved that mystery. It goes in through the side. It just kind of looks a little odd. So we're ready to rock and roll, ladies. Let's go down the parking lot and check this out. <laughs> 